The Gale Center in Niagara Falls hosted the annual Terry Fox Run, where hundreds came out to do their part in the fight against cancer. And as chair being involved in this event, what's it been, what does it mean to you to see so many Niagara residents come out to support this event? Well, that's exactly why I'm involved. I'm a community person, so it's great. You hear a lot of stories. A lot of people come up to you and say, I saw Terry Fox run you know, when, I, when he was running, and it won't be in Niagara Falls, it'll be in a whole bunch of different areas. And then of course, the families that have been touched by cancer. So you'll see a whole bunch of uh, participants with red shirts out here, and they come up and say thank you and those things, and those mean a lot to us. We're very lucky here, the city has donated the street here, Terry Fox Way, and the city is really behind Terry Fox, and it just gets larger and larger every year, so it's exciting. Those we spoke to today have both been impacted by cancer and inspired by the courage of Terry Fox. Well, just the courage that he had, you know, you look at uh, what he accomplished running across Canada, the amount of people that followed him, uh, every time you hear his name, it's just, it resonates with kids, older people, all of us in general, so to be here is a lot of fun for me. Have you and your family ever participated in Terry Fox runs? Absolutely. Uh, the kids uh, participate every year in the Terry Fox run at school. Uh, I've done it multiple times uh, as a Leaf and, and now to, to be the race starter here in Niagara Falls. Uh, amazing event. Uh, running on behalf of my daughter Gabriella who passed away October 31st, 2002 from a brain tumor. Uh, she was two months old. So we're here to uh, give support to the community and everybody else suffering from this terrible disease and giving back as best we can. Your restaurant does a lot for cancer and you have some charitable events that you do. Can you tell us about those? Uh, we do a pasta for prostate cancer in November. Uh, we give money to the Walker Family Cancer Center for uh, prostate diagnostic to Dr. Brown. Um, we pledge to raise 100000 our family, and uh, we're getting close to that number, so a few more years we'll get there. And we've raised over 10000 so far for Terry Fox Team Gabrielle. Well, we really wanted to participate in the run, and it just so happened we were here in Niagara Falls for my son's hockey tournament. So it was a great way to be able to both be here for hockey and also participate in a really, really good cause. Why do you think it's important to participate in an event like today? Well, I mean, I just read the poster of Terry Fox. It was, even if I don't finish, we need others to continue. It brought tears to my eyes. I think he says it perfectly. Um, it's just so much more to be doing in terms of cancer research. And so it's just really important to do whatever we can, even if it's a small, a small bit. A small but dedicated committee ensures that the race takes place every year. And Niagara Falls residents have responded by contributing $1.3 since the race first started. He thought beyond himself and he, he thought that little things can make a big difference if we work together. And it's such a good message for kids, for families, and uh, that's what we have to do. That's a Canadian way of doing things. And how many years have you been a part of this race? I, since 1989, I, that's when I got involved. I started working with schools at that time. and. You get quite passionate about Terry Fox, and it's almost, I, I would say, an honor to be called a Terry Foxer. So many people feel connected and identify with Terry Fox. Why do you think that is? True Canadian icon. There's no doubt about it. I mean, when you think about Terry Fox and what he did 38 years ago, uh, something so unique, something so uh, unselfish, something so uh, almost legendary and, and a true Canadian hero, somebody that we can all look up to and say that's who we want to be. Terry said he wanted to try the impossible to show that it can be done. Almost 40 years later, we see many taking part in keeping his dream alive. In Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Wittick.